Torrential rains damaged two trailer parks, undermining a trailer and wiping out a bridge. And though it's not raining now, the threat of more flooding remains. We have continuing live team coverage tonight. And we'll get an update on the current weather in just a moment. But first, we begin tonight with News 13 Cheryl Barber. And Cheryl, too, usually small streams did all the damage. Yes, one of those streams flows through pipes underneath this trailer. But the downpour here in the Lester community forced it to the surface and washed out the supports for this mobile home. You could tell something was going on, but we thought it was like the, from the thunderstorm. Kanita Whitmire stands outside the yellow warning tape circling her home. She and her children wondered about a strange noise around the trailer. She didn't know the stream had become a river under her feet until daylight. You noticed it was a big hole. <laughs> And so now we understand what all the commotion was last night. I mean, it was scary, but, you know, we didn't know what it was. She called for help when she saw the north end of her home hanging in midair. One block pier had just disappeared into the sinkhole. The other was just clinging to the bank. It was just like this was all sprung on us within minutes. It, it, it wasn't something you could prepare for. They was like the train was hanging on by a thread, so it was like, get out. So you kind of just don't prepare or expect something like this to happen. You kind of just got to go with the flow because it happened so quickly. Kanita got her children out and managed to grab food and medicine before rescue workers arrived. City inspectors posted signs that read, especially dangerous to life. Extensive repairs will have to be made before she can move back in. I knew it was bad last night. No way I could have imagined it would be this bad. Kevin Korn checks out the gap after this stream chewed up 20 feet of dirt, gravel, and asphalt at the crossing into the Irwin Valley Mobile Home Park. A second entrance is too muddy for cars, so he'll have to walk to his home until repairs are made. Until this is fixed, uh, we're just going to have to park on that side of the creek, walk across, and be careful. The park's owners say this is the first time the creek has done so much damage, but they have a plan. We should have this back in within by the end of the week, possibly. If it doesn't rain again and all this starts, which I know that's forecasted. Firefighters say that the Red Cross will help Kanita Whitmire and her family find a temporary place to stay while repairs are made to this home. Reporting live in Buckham County, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.